friend is Boz here and today's time for my FIFA 23 corner kick tutorial. I'll show you the best the five techniques in my opinion and have variation. Don't just use the same corner kick all the time, be unpredictable, variation here is a big key. And in all of these examples here we're using corner kicks on three bars, that is a default value. You can also of course here use uh, something else, something different, but to get the same positioning in the box as me in this video, then you must put this on three. First out, we have short corners, this one is of course up to you what happens after you make this short pass, but you must tap first R1 or BX box to call one player short before the cutscene is done. We can also call him short afterwards, but it is best of course to make this one beforehand, and just like this, uh, get him close right away. Short pass with X. And then from here, you have options, of course. But this year, the best option is to go for the body feint to beat this uh, first guy here and to get the chance for the cross. If you don't know how to make body feint, then check out my skill mode tutorial. That link is down below. After this first move, then of course, you look for the cross. And here, almost always using around uh, three bars of power, trying to aim for this uh, far post, looking for a strong header, just like this. This time it comes short, but still, it is a nice goal. We have here one more example, just tapping on one, uh, making one guy come short. And after this, we have body feint, uh, this time towards the inside. After this part is done, opponent is gone, we must look for the motions in the box and wait for the right move to occur. Sometimes that means you must hold the ball slightly, hold this cross slightly until you see that you have a good uh, header simply in this uh, four post region. That is simply the area that we want to attack, that is where the opponent is vulnerable. And here we see in the end Kundabali, great run, we just power up around three bars and there you go, that is a very nice goal. The short corner is always a great option. And then we have the default corner for the lazy users, perhaps uh, quickly taken. It is good to use towards the near post region against an opponent that is taking out his keeper. Just make sure to take this one quickly, that is the most important thing. And for this one, just use default curve, do not touch right stick. Just default curve, and for outswingers here, you want to aim uh, around this region here, that is going to be around the edge of this uh, 6 yard box. And for in swingers, you want to here aim uh, between the edge of the 6 yard box and the penalty kick spot just like this here. And for these ones, yes, you want to aim for the near post, which means you must go between 2 and 2.5 bars of power. Just like this, aim quickly, default curve. And between 2 to 2.5 bars of power, which sometimes will give you here some very easy goals. Quickly taken. And then we have the most effective corner kick in the game, the power corner. And for these ones, we want to use in swingers. The reason why is if the keeper goes out, if he goes out of the line, if the opponent moves his keeper and use out swingers, this corner will be harmless. But if we use in swingers, we can go for the direct option towards the goal, which is this here actually very effective and remarkably consistent. So that's why for these ones, always use here in swingers, which simply here gives you then two options. And what is important here is that the taker cannot have a too high power. So don't use a taker that has over 85 power, because then sometimes the ball will just go too far or just go over the goal. So use here max 85 power. All right, we start with applying the curve, which is done with the right stick. Go as far left or right as you can, depending if you take it here with the left or right footed player. The text should say here, inside foot curl. And then you move the right stick up until you get the text here saying, inside foot low. Pay attention here to this text, inside foot low. And after this, we actually start moving the right stick again, downwards, slowly and carefully. Until we get the text back saying, inside foot curl. So you stop moving the right stick in the same moment as you get this text back. And this is done to ensure that we get the lowest possible height on the ball for this type of corner. Alright, the curve is done. After this, we have to aim. And this is done with the left stick. Put the aim here between the edge of the 6 yard box and the penalty kick spot, just like this, just here. 
And the last step is easy, just apply max power, simple. But the key here is to get the right the aim and curve. And now, if the opponent takes his keeper out, then this will not work. And then you must go directly for the goal if you want to make this one effective. And the only thing here, only difference is that you must change the aim. But we use exactly the same curve, exactly the same curve, just change the aim here. And this part is, uh, of course, uh, tricky sometimes to find this uh, right kind of spot. It takes some practice, uh, but uh, the sweet spot is in the middle somewhere of the 6-yard box, depending, of course, on the player's uh, curve. But for a quite average curve, let's say around 80-85, uh, you should aim here in the middle of the 6-yard box, put the left stick here, and then just use max power and the same curve. That is, of course, slightly after 9 o'clock for a lefty and slightly before 3 o'clock for a righty. Just like this. And you can enjoy some very simple goals. Power corners are very effective and could be done then in two different ways depending what the opponent does. If he stays on the line, just aim like this here, full power. And if he takes his keeper out, you just aim like this here and just go directly for the goal. And last out, we have my favorite, the manual corner. And here the aim and curve is up to you. Just find something that works for you, something that is consistent. We know simply where the ball will land. And here we're just going to use a default curve in swing, aiming around the penalty kick spot to just make the ball here end up in this in-between area that is hard for the keeper to get. And then comes the manual part, uh, press L1 or LBX box here to activate the player in the box that you can control manually. And you can keep on pressing L1, LB until you select here your biggest aerial threat. Next step is to power up with the taker and for this example here the sweet spot is around the 3 bars to make the ball here end up in this midsection. If I power up less the player must come shorter. If I power up too much, the player must stand deeper. And now, it's all about timing this player's run with the cross, with the corner. And to launch this corner, you just press again on the crossing button and the corner will launch. Bear in mind how you aim the curved and powered up to simply predict where the ball will land. This is all about, of course, your timing the take of this corner with the run of your player. But if you master this, it will be both fun and effective. But that is it for today. Hope you found today's video helpful and useful. Don't forget the variation is the key. See you guys again tonight for the RTG. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you know, until next time, take care.